Hello, dear friends. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. May the seed of the Word grow and bear fruits in our lives. This is Sister Rejoy for today's Gospel Power. That same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the sea. Such great crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat there, while the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, Listen, a sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seeds fell on the path. Other birds came and ate them up. Other seeds fell on rocky ground where they did not have much soil, and they sprung up quickly since they have no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and brought forth grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Let anyone with ears listen. parable provokes their hearers to think deeply and ask questions, and in that dialogue, they reveal fresh insights and new sense. In today's parable, we may ask, is the sower result-oriented or process-oriented? Is he primarily concerned with producing a rich harvest? Well, if he is, he does not have to waste the seed by scattering it all over the place. He simply needs to concentrate his farming activity in rich soil. But God, the sower of the seed, which is his word, is not only looking for attentive and receptive hearers. God also desires to transform the inattentive, distracted, anxious, and reluctant hearers through contact with his powerful word. The process of sowing the seed intentionally includes the rocky and thorny infested ground because the seed, the powerful Word of God, can transform any type of soil into fertile ground. The Word must be heard by all, just as all types of soil must have their share of the seed. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, Thank you for untiringly speaking your word to us, despite our inattention, distraction, and reluctance to listen. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. 